Well, good morning. So today we're going to try to go up to Bartle Gap Road, which is a 27 mile hike. I can't do 27 miles, so we're going to do about uh, 18 miles and then finish up the last nine tomorrow morning. So it's a nice flat trail in front of me. Beautiful day, clear, clear blue skies, about 68 degrees. <laughs> That's good as it gets, huh? Okay. So nice wide flat trail in front of me. It's about a 2,000 foot climb coming up <clears throat> in about a mile and it lasts pretty much the entire day. <laughs> so it's like over 13 or 14 miles. So that, that uh, shouldn't be too awful bad. So there's the Lake Britain Dam. There's my friend Frank way down there. Wow, pretty cool. Pretty cool. There's Lake Britain. Big lake. That's downstream. Wow. And some Sobo hikers. There you go. Back to what I like. Nice smooth trail. Nice shady forest. Beautiful. Pretty pretty. Yeah, I was just wondering, boy, that creek sounds pretty loud. I hope there's a bridge. You need to fish, huh? No, I'm good. No. Oh man, massive bushes. About the past mile. Holy cow. Now coming out. Where the power line. Wow, you can actually see some. We've been in bushes like, like that bit dense for like a, two miles. Ah, oh, wind. Fantastic. And here we go again. And, and uh, this is good. Now you can actually see the trail. So believe it or not, there's a trail here. Down there. I don't think this has had any PCT trail crew maintenance for a long time. So there's Mount Shasta off in the horizon. Very pretty. And just like that, magic. Well, good morning. So we stayed at Clark Spring last night. Very nice little place to camp. There were some talking gut hooks about bears. We never saw any bears, thank God. <laughs> so moving north today. Uh, just heading towards uh, Castle Crags, which is just south of Dunsmuir. So if there's something interesting, I'll show you. Today's hike looks just like this. Down, thankfully, not going up. And it's getting warmer. It's 63 degrees at 7 a.m., so probably going to get up to 86 in the woods t today. Another picture of Mount Shasta. The trail goes along this, all the way up along this. Thank you, PCT trail crew.
We left Bartle Gap and we're heading towards the McLeod River. That is a 24 mile walk, which is farther than I've ever walked before, so we'll see. But I've been three weeks into this hike, so I feel like I have my pretty much my trail legs. But this is my view. Beautiful morning. About to 66 degrees. Beautiful. A trail not choked by bushes. Fantastic. And very fast too. This is like the freeway of trails. We're doing about three and a half miles per hour at, at this pace. Well, good morning, Mount Shasta. Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect morning on the PCT. So we came over the crest of the mountain. I think this is the high point for the day. Pretty impressive. Pretty pretty. Long way down. So it looks like the trail goes way out there and you can kind of see it going way around that thing. Oh! So you can see the trail goes up, up that way. Went around this little tight bend. Yeah, this whole trail is pretty cool right in here. So this is the last hill for the day, and then it's a long downhill. And now we're about two hours from the McLeod River, going through this very nice tree stand. Nice breeze, cooled off. Oh, paradise. Well, we're still hiking. <laughs> Here it is about five o'clock. Been hiking for eight hours and got about oh, 45 minutes left I guess. Saw a bear, that was nice. Saw him at a good distance so he wasn't, we weren't surprised by him. He was not afraid of us, nor was he really interested in us, so I don't know what to do with that. We yelled and he kind of moved off slowly and then took his time and went, went and then went downhill across the trail again. But uh, yeah, good time was had by all. Yep. <laughs> so this is a nice little footbridge that goes across the, the McLeod River on our way to Castle Crag. Pretty big river. Boy, climbing out of the McLeod River. Poison oak. <laughs> it's, it's not as bad as it was coming out of Belden. It's close. Pretty little forest walk. 
after all the poison oak. <laughs> so we're making our way to I-5. I-5 is about 20 miles from, from here. Uh, maybe 15 miles. Well, it's a very green world, isn't it? Lots and lots of green. And a little bit of blue. That's a pretty cool little section here. Basically just jungle. And this little trail carved out. Imagine that. Down there, just probably 200 feet down, is just straight jungle. I never thought Northern California was this jungle. I knew there were trees, but the undergrowth is amazing. Don't worry, we're out of poison oak country. That was about four miles ago that it led up. Oh, nice campsite. Trail goes around here and that way. And really pretty woods, look at this. So beautiful. So this is the Squaw Creek. And water's no good if you can't get down to it. There's one guy way down there. But uh, that's a 30 foot drop. Okay, well we're gonna walk down this way and see what we can find. So there's a bridge up there and then we came down here. Boy, it's pretty. Like a little uh, tropical forest. Look at that. So leaving the Squaw River, it's a little 1,800 foot climb. <laughs> That's all. Maybe 1,900. And it's a steep trail too. Here at like 6 o'clock at night. But it's really hot, so this might be the best time to climb. But being the end of June, it doesn't really get dark until uh, like nine o'clock. So we got three more hours of light left, so it's a good time to hike. So we had a pretty good sleep last night. And this is our morning view. Mount Shasta. Lots of little volcanoes here. So about two hours from the I-5 freeway we were just commenting on how totally nice the, the just trail is. It's so smooth and no rocks. It's just perfect for miles. You do come into these little wet areas where there's usually a creek. Yep. <laughs> That's wet. And muddy. Yummy. And a little stream. Little waterfalls. Again, this trail is a freeway. <laughs> so smooth. It's soft from all the pine needles on it. Shady, perfect. Very pretty. Getting there, I can hear the the I-5 freeway traffic noise. Just a great trail down. So we're 
coming up on the freeway. It's like a little bridge to the road that I don't know where it goes, but we're gonna walk up towards the freeway that way. Then you cross another bridge for an even bigger river. So I'll call this the end of my Bernie Falls to I-5 extravaganza. Lots of pretty stuff. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.